All right, everybody, how are we doing today? It's Steve Mingleco, Final Web Design, and today I'm going to be making a portfolio site on the new WordPress 2020 theme. So let's see how this works. As you can see, this is the core theme. Basically, just installed it. Um, nothing's been touched, nothing's been edited. You got your little hello world. Your search, as you can see, this is a very, very bare theme. So let's see what we can do with this. Now I'm going to uh, imagine that this theme is not going to offer a lot of flexibility, but let's see where we get with this and um, let's start to take a point. So here we are at the dashboard. Let's go into the, the, the customization. We went to the themes. Actually, I'm gonna go to the theme just real quick, just to kind of show. Um, how we're, what we're actually customizing here. So as it takes a moment to load, I'll go back over to the front end. Uh, basically, I want to do something with this header, add a menu, add an about us, add a contact, add maybe a portfolio page. And then we're going to add some type of slider or some type of main image. So let's see, will this load quick? Um, and of course it's not, so Let's just go back real quick. Not exactly sure what's tying it up. Should be a pretty, pretty uh, light theme, but then again. So here it is right here in the themes. Uh, we can see that they've just basically added. We have the 2019, 2020. This is the 2021. So we're going to go to customize and see what options they give us as far as customizing the theme itself. So it says you are customizing stevemingleco.com, which is basically my site. This is what they present us with. So, hey, this is actually a little bit better. It's a little bit nicer. We got our menu over here, our logo and our, our uh, title or slight title um, feature of our website and these pictures. So it seems to be that they're all individual pictures, a few blocks of text, um, some type of big button here with a footer. So site identity, this is always the first part that you go when you're updating one of these themes. Basically the site title is stevemingleco.com. I think I'm gonna actually make it stevemingleco.com so it actually looks like my name. Maybe even see what it looks like here without, no, we'll keep the .com. Um, and portfolio web, web design portfolio. We'll give it a new little title here. Or actually, I want to sorry, we're going to professional web developer portfolio. Okay, not super important. Um, as far as the site icon, that's what this little WordPress icon is. So why don't we actually open up? I actually have a few pieces of material that have been put together on an older site. As you can see, this just updated the title. We could always select a logo and put that in here. I have one available. So let's go here to site icons, let's upload. Uh, we'll go to our sites. We will go to stevemingleco.com and not that one. Um, stevemingleco.com, public. We'll put this little favicon, I guess, a view logo. This should work. We'll title it favicon and we'll Put that in the alt text as well. And we'll insert that. So now as you go back here, it's gonna look like similar to a view website, even though I guess we're doing a WordPress website. Uh, let's see if I, I think I have to publish that. So we'll close this. Oh, did I add it? Okay, favicon select. There we go. And let's make this full width. Crop image. There's an error cropping your image. What's going on here? Skip cropping, whatever. We're gonna leave it for here just for the tutorial. Uh, I guess it added it right here. Oh, I updated the logo, my gosh. So we're off to a we're off to a good start here, guys. Babycon, we're gonna edit that. Um, looks like it's all perfect. Crop image, skip cropping, it's all perfect. I'm gonna remove this logo. I don't want that logo right there. I just wanted to get that published as far as the favicon. As you can see, it's changed the favicon here. So going back, let's continue down the customization of this new theme. Colors, we're going to make this a little bit more my style. I don't mind this light green, but I think I'm more of like a light blue 
type person. So I know that's not a huge difference. Um, but yeah, I like that a little bit more. So we'll go with the blue. We're going to publish that. Let's see what the dark mode support is a device setting. Ooh, I like that. Let's do that. Dark mode. It's for device setting. It's a visitor of your site requests. Your site will be shown in dark background and light text. Dark mode can be turned on and off. I love that. I put it on all of my web browsers and my iPhones. I always put stuff in dark mode in my text editors. Uh, it gives it that coding type of feel. So as far as the background image, this is going to change this whole image. Right now you can see there's nothing really here. And to be honest, I don't really want anything. So I, I'm going to put something up here just to kind of show you guys what that will look like. However, I don't want to actually publish this. I just want to show you guys where this background image uh, displays. So let's go to choose image. As you can see, the whole background here has been turned into an image. I don't want that. I don't need that. So we're going to actually remove it. I just want to show you guys how that functionality works and what that's going to look like. So let's go back to customizing this. Our menu, we're keeping our primary menu because obviously we want our home about a blog, a contact. I'm actually going to add one more item, which is going to be portfolio which is just going to be an image of the different sites that I want. So as you can see, this will actually cut off right now, but as I move it over here, we'll go blog about, I think I'm gonna remove blog. I just, I've managed too many blogs to try and manage this one. So for now, we're gonna take it off, even though I know WordPress is really cool about having blogs and the support's all built in. But at this stage, I, I just, I can't manage it. Maybe we'll add it in another video. The secondary menu, as you can see here, is basically our social media outlets. So that's what's down here on the bottom. If I go to Facebook and I go www.facebook.com, I think my Facebook is just Steve Mingleco. We'll save that. Might as well give it a quick test while I'm up. But I'll go back and my Instagram should be similar. I can't Twitter. I don't really have one, but I do have a business one. So we're going to put that in there. Um, final web design. And for Instagram, I'm going to publish that. For Instagram, we will also put the business one. Oh, no, actually, I do have a, I do have a personal Instagram. So that's just Mingleco. I'm going to test that real quick. So, yes, Steve Mingleco, that did go to my Facebook. Instagram that does go over to my Instagram, I believe. So yes, as you can see, it's my Instagram. Going back, email. This one's pretty straightforward. I just want to use mail to Steve dot dot mingleco at gmail dot com. Sweet. That's all we're gonna do as far as our secondary menu and these links right here on the bottom. As you can see, these are the links. And let's go back. You can obviously too add new ones if you want. I can go here and add most of these if you have the title of the the service that you want. It'll add it. So if you want to add a Pinterest and stuff. However, I'm not super big on the whole social medias right now. And then we have our widgets, which are going to be our search, which is here. I think I'm going to leave that. But honestly, I think I want to move it over to the right hand side. It just seems a little more useful there. Recent posts, this is our blog posts. Oh, I think I'm going to leave that now too because honestly, I do want that. But here I want to add a navigation menu. Now what this has done is it's actually pushed it into the side, but I'm going to do the primary menu. And I'm going to go menu, no, I'm just going to title it navigation. And I am going to remove this recent comments because comments are just things from your blog. I don't really want to publish any of those. So for now, we just have our navigation, our recent posts. And actually, I'm going to take off the semicolon and our search. So they all just look very similar and nice. These are our footer uh, icons. The thing about this 2021 theme is that it's very clean. I mean, they're trying to make it as lightweight as possible because clearly a lot of these themes get so heavy that they want to just give you at the bear and then you kind of go from there. Homepage setting. 
So here's where you can either set this up so it's pulling your blog post or just a static page. Right now we have it create your website with blocks. I think I'm going to keep that because that's actually the home page. If I go to sample page, you'll see that it takes away all that information and just fills it with a content page. So when I go to create your website with blocks, it's adding that page from our system. So what I'll do is I'll show you where that page is right after I get here. And obviously our blog, our post page is going to be the blog, which again, I'm not going to do in this video, but I will do it in the next one. Um, this, our archive page post show, don't, don't even touch it. You don't need to. And then any additional CSS here is where you can go in and custom code like your classes or whatever you need to do. But in this case, we're not going to do it. This video, I know it's already 11 minutes, 10 minutes. I just wanted to go into kind of the theme customization with the template, um, 2021 for WordPress. And in the next video, I'm going to go into kind of editing and designing this homepage here and also editing and designing some of these menu items and maybe what I'll do real quick as long as just to kind of wrap this up with a little unity is right here under pages you can go to your create your website with blocks and you'll see that right here is where that information for that home page is pulling I could add a new page and create a whole fresh new home page but I think for again this video I just kind of want to show you where it's all placing itself so that in the next one I can go in and really make those edits that are going to Let's just refresh this quick. Um, so in here we have our element or our block editor and we can go in and start to edit all of these features that we see on the home page. So this is really cool. It's a Gluttenberg editor. This has been very new in the last uh, version five install of WordPress. As you can see here, we got our home ball portfolio. The color is a little bit different. Our footer, our navigation, our home. This, will, this should all link over to like our Facebook and features like that. So guys, that's what I want to do in this video. Hey, leave a like and subscribe if stuff helps. And stay tuned for the next video because I'm going to go through this whole portfolio site on the new WordPress 2021 theme. Uh, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.